Hey Ben, what are we gonna do today? We're gonna slam some charms, bro. What's up, YouTube? Uh, one take. Right. One take, one take, one take. Okay, here we Hey, I haven't turned off the camera yet. What's up, YouTube? It's Mark again, and welcome back to Swamp and Stomp. We're down in the Keys today. We're heading offshore with my buddy Ben. You guys have seen him before. Um, we're heading offshore to try and catch some permit. We've got a big crew of people out here. Uh, we got a bunch of crabs. We're gonna see what we can do. They've been shy the past couple days, but I think with our new tactics, we have a secret we'll plan. Out that's gonna maybe possibly work. You see him or no? I'm ready. Find me some fish. I think they're further out than they look. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, hell yeah. Oh wait, go. I guess you want me yeah, to fight it, huh? Are you both fighting? No, he's no. fighting. I gotta get okay. the... It just realized it was hooked. by far the biggest permit I've ever caught. That Holy is God. epic. Holy Woo Dude, I was like, oh, this thing. I'm like, man, this thing is kicking my ass. Oh my God. Here we go. Oh, that was That is the biggest. Oh my nice. God, dude. That is... Here, hold her up. Yeah, right. Hold her up. <laughs> Two. 92. <laughs> Perm it's dog slamming bigger. record. 10 Holy centimeters shit. bigger than the biggest one we've ever caught. Can awesome, guys. Bigger. Good work. Get in the water. <laughs> on 20 pound test. Dude, there might be something to say for the no jig head thing. I threw it right out in the center of the school and just kept giving it and giving it. And he took it and I just let him go and go Holy and crap, go. crap, man. That was awesome. A good 
way to end the freaking day. All right, so you guys are probably wondering what's going on and what exactly we're doing. So we're uh, we're actually out here doing some science. Ben is uh, doing research on these permit and uh, we're basically cruising around a spawning aggregation looking for these fish and pitching crabs out in front of them. So we've got, we've got little crabs on jig heads um, and today they've been giving us a real hard time. They've been staying really deep, but they're finally starting to get a little active. Um, so since Ben's got to run all the machinery, uh, that's the reason that he handed off that rod to me and it just so happened to be the biggest permit they've ever caught on this trip. Um, so uh, pretty good start to the trip. We got like three more days of this going going on. So, uh, but this day's ending pretty soon here. So yeah, you got anything to add, Ben? I'm a little disappointed that I handed the rod off. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> yeah. Sucks for him. What's up YouTube? We're about to head offshore, go catch a bunch of permit. But I just wanted to remind you guys before we get into it, we got a bunch of cool events coming up. So we want you guys to come see those. So go check out the BHA Backcountry Hunters and Anglers Facebook page, as well as our Facebook page. We've got a, uh, a kickoff party for the hunting season coming up here shortly. We're gonna be roasting a whole hog. Uh, and we'll be doing a workshop to teach people how to scout in Florida. And then on top of that, uh, we also have a fishing event. It's gonna be a fundraiser for backcountry hunters and anglers. Uh, all the details are on our Facebook page as well as the backcountry hunters and anglers Facebook page. So go check it out. All right guys, so we're out here again. Uh, second day, it's a hell of a lot calmer. We should be able to spot the fish a little easier. Um, so we're gonna cruise around, see if we can find these things on the surface. Pitch crabs at them. There's something behind the boat right there. Oh, big cuda. Shark bait. Ooh, ha ha. Could be here. Yeah, yeah, yep. I'll keep them, try to keep them around one to one, one to two o'clock, and then turn on them. Permit right oh there. God. Oh my god, there's a huge school coming up. Bring them all up. Yep. Alright. Alright, it might be uh yeah, time. Are we getting it? Yeah. Take it under. There it comes. Nice. Boom! Oh. Nicely done. Perm dog slammed. Alright, nice job. What's that on? The lucky rod? Uh, yep, yeah, same. always with that chartreuse. I guess it's not always about pink. Always about that pink. So this fishery for these permit is absolutely incredible, but it's kind of tricky. It's not like most fishing. And honestly, the hardest part of them is actually finding the school. Um, he's been doing it for quite a while, so he's gotten pretty good at it. I'm gonna let him kind of explain what you're looking for. Generally speaking, you're looking for bubbles or sand, something, a discoloration in the water. And surprisingly, you can even see it when it's two, three feet offshore. There's a little bit of wind on top. It's just any different coloration under the water surface. You can see it when the water's green, when the water's really blue. It's surprising how much it stands out if you can get a little elevation off the gunnels, and that's well, a big part of it. Once, once I saw it, yeah. then you can't unsee it, but it took a while before I actually noticed. But 
And, and just to be clear, when he says sand or bubbles, you're not actually looking for sand or bubbles. It just looks like there's sand or bubbles in the water. Mm -hmm. If you see a boat drive away and it leaves all the bubbles behind, uh, you know, behind the propeller, that's kind of what it looks like when you see these fish. And, and really what you're seeing is their silver bodies are reflecting the sunlight and it's actually lighting up the water around them. Yeah, and I mean, like I said, it's the hardest part is actually just finding them and getting close. Yeah. Once you get close, it's... it's oh, it's, that's when the fun I mean, gets. I wouldn't say it's easy because it's, it's actually kind of... There's a bit of a trick to getting them to eat. Yeah. It seems like the, the fish on the outside of the school are way more aware of the boat. So you want to try and get your crab on a jig head uh, to sink sort of into the middle of the school. And then you kind of have to judge about how deep they are, but you get that crab in the middle of the school and then you just close the bail and give it a little, jig. Give it a little twitch. There we go. Fish on. All right, y'all. So when you come out here to do this, you're looking for a slightly greener shade of water. <laughs> that's, that's basically it. That's it. In fact, it's right in front of the boat. But you guys probably can't see it. We're pulling up to this school. Probably, what, 50 yards in front of the boat? Probably. 40. So as you get closer, you'll start seeing, like, they'll turn, they'll catch the sun. Go. Cut. Cast it! Cast it! Oh, that's money. Oh, I'm right in. He's way out there. I just saw color. He's coming to the boat. Oh, I see him. He's going right through here. Oh, yep. Yeah. Came right in. Right to the boat. Under it, under it. Oh. Alright, nice. Nice to done. Well, that's the perfect size to catch on this little rod. Oh yeah. Ooh, how do we... 63. How far? 63. 63. There we go. Boom. All right. Like it. Let's do the release. Give me a little bit of left. So as I mentioned, we're actually out here doing research for his dissertation. We've known each other since grad school. We've been out on the boat a lot together, but this was my first time coming out and catching these permit. So why do we? Why are we so concerned with catching all these permit? And what exactly are have we been doing out there? And why? Yeah, so certain groups in the fishing community have noticed uh, fewer permit in different parts of that country on flats offshore. Maybe the aggregations are a little smaller. Uh, so they asked us a couple years ago to come down here and try and count the number of permit within the aggregations. So the fishing community thinks that it, it's possible that sharks are actually contributing to the loss of permit on across the different different systems. Uh, so we are here to uh, monitor, to observe uh, the interactions between permit and sharks see if that's actually the case and in the way that uh that you know recreational fishermen are actually catching them to to replicate exactly what everybody's doing during this closed season when the permit are supposed to be protected to see if if these sharks are uh are actually causing significant mortality that we should be worried about yeah and that's right? that's a very important point and uh i think it's time to go out and Slam some more perms. Yeah, absolutely. Let's do it. Day.
Yep, I see him. FFP might be outmatched in this shallow water. Well, unfortunately, that one got rocked by a shark.
right there. Nice. No, there's oh, three of them. There's sharks. Oh. Oh. I think that was sick. Got it. That was cool. Yeah. All right, I'm still on. Watch out, watch out, watch out. And there wasn't a camera point at any of that. There you go, keep coming. There you go. That's a big permit. Yeah. That's a nice permit. Slam it. Oh. Hold on. Bring them back for you. You good, Mon? Yeah. There you go. Yeah. That's a good permit right there. Nice. <laughs> Nicely done. I'm dead. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> girl. That's, 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 a that's a good one. I saw one. you getting tired. Like, good girl. Good job. It's no. I, yep. Go. Later, big guy. Nice. Oh, man. There you go. You're good. You're good. There you go. There's a shark. There's a shark under Monica's fish. But your fish is high enough off the. Oh, wait, no, your fish is down there. We've already given them maybe enough snacks. <laughs> yeah, hopefully they're full. Oh, look at all the horse I jacked. Oh, yeah. There we go. Nice. All right! Yeah. Yeah. We got a second one here, so get that thing out of the net. Yeah, I can, I can net it. Bring him up, steer his face right over here. Boom. That's a netted fish. Yeah, man. Here you Monica, we got to get a double picture. We Hell yeah. Together. Get this rod in here, too. I want to get the rod. Florida Fish Products. Here, I got you. Put in your teeth. Both your teeth. <laughs> there you go. This is the thing. This is the thing that fishermen do. This is crazy. Okay. Hold them up forward. Closer together. Closer. Cross those tails. Okay. Uh, just send them. I have so many release videos. <laughs> All right, y'all. It's going to be the uh, last attempt of the trip. Going with the, the Mondo crab. And uh, we'll see what happens. And uh, in case you guys don't know the drill, make sure that you like and subscribe to this video. Go check out our Patreon page. And we're doing a giveaway right now. We're giving away a compound bow. There's a link in the description. You can sign up for it. And we've got a bunch of events coming up. And if you want to know about those, go on Facebook and check out our Facebook page or the Backcountry Hunters and Anglers Facebook page. Peace out.